Hello fruit lovers, Ian here at the crack of dawn out at Old Avald Honey and Tropical Fruits and uh, you can hear the uh, roosters crowing away in the background not my roosters, they're the neighbour's roosters This is my spring fed lake or pond depending on you know what you think, whether it's a lake or a pond Anyway, it's a water feature, spring fed lake This area here as i said before um it's been dug down the broke through the hard pan here this is the water surface and in fact in the summer the water will come all the way up here because if you dig down into the soil you've got water right there but right now the water is at least six foot lower and this lake the back side stays wet, but this side during the winter goes dry. And uh, it, well, as soon as it rains, it'll fill back up because the water level will come back up. What I'm thinking of doing is turning this, or at least turning part of it, into kind of a chinampa. Now, the Aztecs had a system where they made floating gardens think of you seen those like fish farms that have the uh, fish floating around in a big well maybe that's obviously not, there's nothing really solid there but forget that but they, like a basically they had like a float floating island a floating mat of uh, vegetation and dirt soil and then they planted their crops on top of that and then the crops would would have plenty of water and they also put their i learned that they put their um, i'm not going to necessarily do this but they put the waste from the cities the human waste on these uh on these crops and it was a way of like not polluting the because by the time it got into the water it wouldn't be polluting the water what i'm going to do here though so you can look up about chinampas. Check Jeff Lawton now, great permaculture guy. This bit here, I'm thinking, this here is like a hard pan little island. I don't know whether I'm gonna build that up. I'm thinking what I'm gonna do here is like put the dirt over the soil from this bit over into the middle and this soil over here over into the middle and then build it up and up and then that can be maybe i can plant some bananas on there some manioc papayas maybe some maize or something and then this will be like a it'll, aesthetically it'll look better than a bear i mean some people said to me why don't you dig out your lake more number one you gotta get some machinery down there really to do it Machinery is going to get stuck. Machinery is going to be pumping out loads of noxious gases and everything. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my old muscle power. Skinny, skinny boy here. Skinny English boy is going to use my shovel, use my spades. Anyway, it's going to be a lot more aesthetically pleasing. It's going to be providing food and... You know, little experiment, see what happens. So I'm gonna get going with this. As you know, I don't do a lot of video editing. So this is gonna be the first video on the start of the Chinampa. And later on, I'll come back and do a video of uh, how I've progressed, how many blisters I've probably got. So I'm gonna show you over here. I think I've showed you, check out the other videos of the bees the bees drinking uh, from here they'll be here later in a day but you can see that's the hard pan in the middle so maybe i could well trouble with it here is then i've got to transport buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets of stuff up here this will be covered in the summer this will be wet because the water is going to go right up to there but i don't think i'm going to transport all the dirt there i think i'm gonna Transport the dirt, the soil. I hate calling it dirt. Why do I got dirt? Dirt sounds like nasty. Like there's like 
bad like there's nothing in it this is good soil this is really good soil i've used lots of this before as well put on the plants this water full of fish nutrition and stuff like that it's great for feeding the plants but we'll be putting that there we'll be putting that there we'll see we'll see how it goes okay let me get going i've only got a couple of hours this morning Got 60 degree weather, sun hasn't come up, so I better I'll get going before it gets too hot. And um, this will be the start of the project. Wish me luck. Thanks for watching. Bye.